I wasn't yeah, paying attention. I, Apparently, funny. Navi banned Batrider in that second rematch. They accidentally what? banned Batrider <laughs> instead of picking Batrider. Idiots. <laughs> and you thought art style would bring success. Where's some it? Nope. It's nothing. Actually, no, it is something. Seal Kid gonna go for that fissure. He's gonna block in Art Style. Already the tomatoes let off the clap, but only a one second sun over an Art Style may not be enough. But with the Reality Rift, they're gonna pull Art Style back in. Welcome back to a Tier One team. Well, sort of. Ah, uh, Art Style. NIP, 1 0 on eardrums and many others. Uh, our style's gonna die for a second time. The Whisperers do all their work. That Troll Trap didn't do enough. And the Queen of Pains moved off the top lane, so they're actually dragging the Quap down to bottom lane. I don't know if this is uh, in anticipation. I think by that time, Stormhammer hits her. So, oh, they spotted out that word from Artstyle and may actually get Artstyle himself. Uh, the, the range though for Era just kept being too far out. The Fisher buying time for Era as oh. uh, Hunts can, cannot keep enough life points in the back of their Chaos Knight to keep him alive. Not with the double raises and even with Seal Kid's Fisher, it could. The only person to steer him is, is the Shadow Fiend, uh, Limp. Art style controlling him with the War Stomp too. He does have Blink of Valve, but with the Hex, he waited way too long for it. And now Chen, Art Style's able to get that pick off. Rotation successful. I was pretty skeptical about it, but it seems oh, Chen is working out. He doesn't really need it. I thought, I like, for sure, the first time he died there, I was like, well, you safe lane jungle now. But Dendi now going to be caught, and this should be a kill with a four second. Uh, Stun easily I mean, it take off. a second as well oh, because yeah. uh, Seal keep moving in through nicely. Uh, Phoenix will end up killing up Batrider in the bottom lane, which is what I was kind of waiting for before. But here, running through the trees, they'll pick up a second and it's into the hands of the Wisp. But it was on bottom lane. Gonna get it. Hanskin was coming in to give a bit of a hand. He's got more help here too, which is in the hands of the Phoenix. But without the Nova. They may not feel confident enough to try and find this kill on the Batrider, but the jump in, trying to go in for the sprite damage and the sonic wave. The last hit from the Batrider, he's going to burn out in the middle of this. Dendi comes in, one raise, two raises, Nova still not available. Stick charges are not enough to keep him alive. With more help from Seneco, Hanskin, well, he's hoping to relocate out, but there was no way that was going to happen either. Not with uh, the Lion that it gives the Hex. So it's a double kill for Dendi, right behind Lip, hits the raise before the Blink is completed. And with a haste room from the Shadow Fiend, all he needs is basically one more max range raids and two attacks. Ready. You know, he's just hanging in the tree line. And he's still get to basically walk to here. And then, perfect. X marks the spot. Jump in oh. by a force. He came in with the Blink Dagger and the Cost Rain. Carves him up. As then into a Nova. It's the only way that he can help out here with CK also coming in with the reality. Sven, he's going to drop. It's a double kill for the Fiends with a perfect Nova position. The Chen army will back up. And uh, that is one gank gone horribly, horribly wrong. Even if Earthshaker did die, you lose one of Art Style's uh, sentry satters. Scouts that era as well as Hanskin moving in. A little bit of surprise aggression trying to find somebody. Oh, but oh boy! Blink. He's going for the Wisp. There's no tether. There will be that Chaos Bolt plus a three second stun with a scream out. Of also looking too healthy on the way out of here. There's no extra damage because there's not enough mana for a Sonic Wave, but there is a fissure from Earth Earthshaker. Seal kick getting in. Dandy winding up the ult. He's a point blank range one on top of Era with the last two. So much committed to ensure the kill on him. They are successful at doing it, but it's still a one core for a one core. And a large amount of your abilities have been expanded as Johannes finds Art Style. He's going to go into the Sunray. Uh, he might better get the kill with the Sunray if he can reach close enough. No, he's going to go into the Nova. Dendi coming in too close with the raise. He's not going to take the risk. And that's also going to mean the death of the Chen army as well as the Chen himself. Yeah, you saw how many, like, he lived through Lasso, SF Ultimate, and Finger of Death. Uh, in that era, the Chaos Knight was still alive, and I think that's one of the primary reasons that you're going to see more Kegger on uh, Havost as well as the Batrider. They do need to focus more on just getting pickoffs on, say, the Wisp, shutting down the Earthshaker. I think they need to keep the supporting cast down a bit more than anything else. Dandy with the ultimate here on Era, but oh, no! no! He got a four second stun off too, so that might be enough time to get out for the double stun! Perfectly coming in from Lion! That might buy the space! Required, and they're backing up the Nova, they're burning Navi, Seneco, 16 HP is able to escape, or is he? The spirits fly out, but no one's there anymore. But that was one big stun from Era, stopping Dendi in his tracks. That Yule Scepter into, into Requiem, not working. Nope, uh, Dendi really took it. Okay, up for the, actually, no, it's down for 15 Dendi more seconds, caught they out. someone else. Yeah, they caught Denny with the Fissure. 
And the Echo Slam also being committed. There is, uh, well, Sunray available to go after Denny. The Hand of God now into the Nova. There's not enough heroes to attack and kill off this egg in time. Or is it? They bring in the help. They only just barely got there. And then maybe they can get themselves an extra one with a controller from the Queen of Pain. The Lasso perfectly targeted from Funnick. Support did come in from the Wisp and CK. But now with Ven also here, that relocate, not going to pull him out in time. It's an absolute disaster for NIP. It's only going to be the casualty of Art Style, but the rest of Na'Vi just mopping oh up the ninjas. <laughs> they definitely wet their pajamas during that nap. That was such a big misplay there from... I mean, it started off with the Phoenix. He missed two different Fire Spirits to start on Dendi. Right, and the, I mean the Yule Scepter in a way is kind of like the the in between item of BKB and oh, jump Orton. last suit. They caught the Phoenix. Just want to Yule Scepter up with the Bat Rider might be, might have been nice, but uh, relocate in. Ear up, throws out the Chaos Bolt, he finds the Nako, but really, he doesn't want to find the middle of this Chen army unless there's a model amount of him, plus Lip hitting the perfect Sonic Wave. So it's really good control coming out from uh, from NIP. Reality Rift in, Era, able to find another kill off over on that Chen, the Nova going to drop, but all of Na'Vi are backing out of here. The Icarus dived down my Phoenix, just trying to clean up a little bit of the trees and get some vision of Horst. That God Strength practically run out now. But the first real use of that reality rift to evaporate the, the uh, heroes of Na'Vi, but he only got the call, uh, he only got the card. Speaking of Dendi, there is the rotation. They might just be able to burst him. It feels like bait. Radiant but it's not really because Na'Vi aren't in position to really capitalize on this. So the Yule Super starts from, from the uh, Quap. There goes your Echo Slam. Sonic Wave is available with both Hand of God and the Mech. All that damage is repaired. And now where is really your opening? Here is being dragged back inside that big BKB of his. Now the Phantasm will kick up with the Nova to also drop. He keeps an Eco in range. They have to find a different target. The Bat Rider Art Style going to get stunned up. The Sonic Wave will remove the large amount of life points of Art Style. But didn't do what they were really searching to do, and that was to kill off the Batrider and TV back to base. But Limp, he's going to find Dendi, but there's nothing to really help him to kill, get the kill. The rest of his team is still back over at mid. They had no stuns available, and the Wisp wasn't there to get the relocate Man, to CK in. That fight started off really poorly. I mean, it started off really poorly for Nip. Like, the relocate in to start with, like, a failed or shaker initiation, essentially. Right? Doesn't really do much. Then you have the reload in here does kind of flag that intention. Nip did do a purely fountain healing coming relocate, for it. so they could continue to fight. They're coming for it. Here and no Phantasm available. The Sentry Wall, they got the last two drag onto Steel Kid. No Echo Slam available with the Finger of Death. They take out the Earthshaker, but Roshan is still nice. And no, they got the Hex on Phoenix! Halfway through the Icarus dive with the control. NIP! I don't know why they're taking this fight, but Danny is now going to evaporate the Quap! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. NIP, all they have left is just that duo, Jack and Jill, Wisp and CK, going back to fetch some level of pail of water from inside the dire jungle. And now even that camp, the stack, Havorce is going to farm that one up too. The injection of money is through the roof. They actually managed to gain themselves 1,700, almost 1,800 worth of gold. Like the swing was every time. Uh, let's run through our lineup. So, Na'Vi. They, we have ourselves a Dendi, who uh, is not going to kill this Wisp, because Ira is right behind him, and this will be a really bad idea for Dendi, because uh, Ira is now going to fully commit. Oh, oh BKB! BKB! He actually got him in the middle of the Chaos Ball! The Four Star Bump! They caught out the Wisp, but now relocate in! Uh, not relocate in! Reality Rift in! Is able to bring all of these illusions from the Phantasm over to the Batrider, and they're chasing him to the ends of the Earth! Wisp wants to stick around here, Reality Rift is back off cooldown again, pulling him up across the tree line, dusting the leaves on the way! And that's now going to be um, a full minute on the sidelines. But yes, back to our lineup. Let's actually go through uh, Chaos Knight. But both of them are super dependent on very long cooldown ultimates. Middle lane, they're going to relocate in for the Bat Rider. And they're going to get the Stunner Swords, the Shadow Strike, pulling him straight back up. That was uh, almost 10% Euro, 90% the way of the Bat Rider for that Reality Rift. But the Tier 2 Tower still does drop on top. So when IP find the pickups, well, they have to defend that push on top lane. And already Navi are coming in for some revenge if they can catch up to the Phoenix, which is going to be pretty hard with Icarus Dive. This could create a Nip Sandwich, and I don't think Nip really feel like being meat tonight. Uh, they have, uh, I mean, uh, Navi Sandwich, Whoa, other way around. Going very far back, making sure they get all the way around Navi. Yep, and here they come, 
air up, BKBs as well as Flip, but Danny winding up the ulti, he does get it off, down to half of his HP however, and Phoenix just evaporated at the start of this fight, the Phoenix just trying to buy a little bit more space to buy back, comes in from Wisp, Seal Kid finally able to jump in for the Echo Slam, but very minimal damage, he's got a little bit more control with the Totem Stomp, but a Vorst has just got, well I say a Vorst, the hero formerly known as a Vorst, has managed to take out three heroes, and now they look to go high ground up against NIP, that was not the initiation they were searching for. Yeah, losing the whiz straight off the back, Era. Yeah, GG. Wow. Yeah. They call it already. The new Na'Vi lineup will be able to claim a victory here, but it's not over yet. This is only game number one of our two-game series of Na'Vi versus NIP. So there's more to come, Cap. There is a lot more to come. It's pretty surprising to me that Na'Vi managed to pull out a victory uh, to start with this series. I was like, ah, nip, probably 2-0. Maybe they drop a game. Um, in the second round, but well done by Navi, showcasing that they 